G'day folks, it's time for a little uh, Monday night magneto fun. Uh, tonight we have a scrapyard pickup that I collected today. Uh, it was a scrap trade for a half a trail load of scrap metal. It's a Bosch high tension magneto. It is a model FF1AR and it looks like it has the exact same gear that I need for this little sundial stationary engine. I did buy a brand new old stock gear off eBay for like 30 bucks, so not particularly expensive, but it does look like the same gear. I'll have to take it off and have a look, but it looks exactly the same. So I'm guessing this came off a sundial engine. This one didn't, but I was originally going to fit it up with this drive gear. That's a Bosch ZE1. Uh, they're normally about two to three hundred dollars in rebuilt condition not much in the condition that it's in I do get a brilliant spark across the points but nothing else nothing coming out the high tension lead so I'm thinking the condenser or something has failed in it and I just haven't had time to rebuild it so it is still a good still a good ZE1 it just needs a bit of TLC and some parts which is the hard part because no one wants to sell the parts they want you to send it to them to get it rebuilt so they can make extra money on it I haven't been able to find a rebuild kit for something like this. But yeah, that's a Bosch ZE1. This one here turns. It's a little bit rough. I'm going to open it up properly. The points housing is completely clean, which is a good sign. It hasn't been drowned. So, yeah. And this is these ones have uh, points that rotate. Let's see the little screw there has come off the uh, its little jacking post. I wonder if that's a problem. Well, maybe not. It's interesting that it's there on an angle. It might not might not be an issue. And that's advanced and retard. It also has a little latch to lock on there. So yeah, you can advance and retard the ignition timing on the fly. So yeah, let's have a quick look at it. Open it up, clean it. Uh, at least clean all the crap off the outside. I'll take this extra bracket off. The bracket doesn't seem to be necessary because I've already got one on the uh, engine. But yeah, it's an interesting old magneto. This essentially replaces a flywheel magnet and a coil. You look at a modern engine that has magnets embedded in the flywheel and a coil on it, this essentially replaces the same thing. It has points, condenser, coil and magnet all in one. It's a magneto. Uh, Multi-cylinder engines have a distributor cap on top of them with multiple outputs. This is a single cylinder engine coil so, or magneto, so that's the only output. It's degraded but it's still intact enough to be used, cleaned up and used. But yeah, and that's a horseshoe magnet. Same with those two there, they're horseshoe magnets. Old school ignition, ignition equipment very sought after. In this condition not so valuable but still sought after for old engine nuts like me and a lot of other people I know. A good friend of mine almost had a heart attack when he saw me pick this out of a scrap metal bin one day. Even though it doesn't work yet it's still a workable or repairable ZE1. As you can see there's the rotor hence the Bosch symbol, the Bosch logo is uh, well, it's not on this one but it looks like two horseshoe magnetic poles and that's exactly what they were before that's that's what the symbol on the Bosch logo means it's part of their uh, their magneto systems they were manufacturing aircraft magnetos in the early teens I think 20s can't remember when Bosch started making uh, magnetos but the uh, trademark symbol, the circle with the two poles, rotating poles inside it is uh, based on a magneto. Yeah, that one there. You can see the two rotating poles and the outer casing. Okay, well after a bit of a clean up this one shows a bit more promise than the uh, ZE1. I am getting a spark off the output ground but not much. 
I even put my hand across it, across it and spun it over and it's enough to give you a little bit of a tickle but that's about it. It's not very strong. You get a nice pop across the points so again I'm guessing the condenser might be bad. I've gapped the points out a bit and it improved things a tiny bit but overall the rest of it seems pretty alright. I just haven't torn it completely apart so I'm thinking that's what I need to do next is uh, actually strip it down or at least strip this end off and find the condenser. It's probably an old mica type condenser but I might be able to replace it with a 0.47 microfarad poly polyfilm capacitor uh, which is what I've done to a couple of magnetos in the past. So yeah it will work. That's advance and retard. There's supposed to be a dowel pin in there, but it's uh, it hasn't broken off. It seems to have receded into the uh, housing here. Yeah, that pin there has receded in almost completely, so it's supposed to sit in that groove on the outside. The other way. They're a nice bit of gear. It just needs a bit of ten tender loving care. I'll... Uh, open it up and see what it's got in the way of a condenser, whether it's a mica condenser or a uh, electrolytic. Again, I can't remove the uh, output post without drilling these screws out, so I'm probably going to have to do that as well. Because, um, yeah, I've tried removing them, as it has the previous owner. You can see it's all chipped and blasted away by uh, hammering screwdrivers in there. Most of that wasn't even mine. That, that was how I, how I found it. So I'm guessing they gave up trying to fix it because I'm guessing either the condenser's part of the output post, which doesn't make any sense, or the actual installation's breaking down. Because sometimes it sparks, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm guessing this is also breaking down in, a, in addition to a condenser issue. But yeah, same gear. That's a sundial gear. So this should bolt straight on and I could even uh, feed the little, little sundial some LPG and see what happens. Anyway, thanks for watching.